Hello everyone, it's Connor here from Manudox and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a server info command. Now these have been requested, so let's get straight into them. First, we're going to head on over to our structures folder and in our util command. And we're just going to go down two lines here and we're going to start by doing a trim array. We're going to add a new function, which is going to be used to, in, the, in this matter, it's going to be used to trim the array of roles that we provide, right? But we can use this later down the line as well. So we're going to do trim array. We're going to pass two parameters. And obviously we're gonna have a fallback to 10 if we don't provide a max length. Then we're gonna do our length is larger than max length. And then we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna pop a const len equals r dot length and then minus max length. We're gonna go down a line here and we're gonna do r equals r dot slice. And then we're gonna do zero as the first param and max length here. Now the semicolon. And then next we're gonna do r push and we're gonna push this. We're gonna say length, not length, just len, and then more. So pretty much it's gonna help us with making sure that we don't go over the uh, capacity of what a uh, a field will allow us here, which is really good. It's something we need, but just, just to make sure that we do get this code, we're gonna return and then we're gonna return the R here. That is all we need right here in our, uh, our util.js. We're gonna head on over to our commands folder now. We're gonna go into utilities, but what we're gonna do is we're going to make serverinfo.js. We're just gonna head on over into ping and we'll just steal the construct here and we'll get rid of this stuff here. Pretty much go in here and we'll add a couple aliases. For instance, we could have server. Server's probably a good one. We could have, I don't know, maybe guild and then, oh, that's guide, guild. Then we could have probably like something like guild info. But whilst I'm here, I'm going to link this in the description. Thanks to Anish, by the way, for helping us with the code for this tutorial, as well as, you know, having this gist for all the uh, stuff we're going to need. So we're pretty much going to just copy and paste this. We're going to copy it and then we're going to go to the top and we're pretty much just going to paste it here. First line, we're going to do const roles equals message.guild.roles.cache.sort. And then we're just going to do a... So we're going to do A, B, and this is going to be an arrow function. And then we're going to have B dot position minus A dot position. And then we're going to go outside here and we're just going to map it. And we're just going to map the role. So we do role, uh, do role to string. And then we're going to do const members equals message dot guild dot members dot cache. And then we're going to do semicolon. We're going to do const, uh, I believe channels equals message dot guild dot channels dot cache. And then finally const emojis equals message dot guild dot emojis dot cache. Now we're going to go down two lines. I'm going to do the first embed here, making sure that we obviously get rich embed from the discord.js. Uh, it's not rich embed, sorry. It's a uh, message embed going B12, obviously. Message embed equals require. And we're just going to require the discord.js package here. Const embed equals new message embed, right? So what are we going to have? We're going to have a set description. So we can add the set description. We're going to have guild information or and we have an underline and we'll say message.guild.name and then an underline as well as the final closing of the mark down here. Next in line, we're going to have set color, right? We're going to set the color to, uh, in this instance, we'll just do blue. So this is one of the presets. We're going to do set thumbnail. And in the thumbnail, what we can do here is we can do message.guild.icon URL. And thanks to V12, we now have this as a method, which means that we can have some options and we're going to have dynamic and then just set that to true. Next in line, we're going to add a first field. And in this field, we're going to have uh, obviously the name as general. And then next, we're going to have an array as the value. Thanks to uh, the add field here. If we provide an array, it's going to have it as a new line for each element that we provide, which is really good and handy. I'm just going to copy and paste one thing here because I don't have this arrow, which is unfortunate. Probably just copy this a couple times. We're going to have name as obviously message.guild.name. We have the ID, so message.guild.id. We change this here to ID. Probably just copy this. And then we're going to have the message.guild.owner.user.tag. We're going to set this to owner 
um and then we're gonna have the the owner id as well so message.guild. i think owner id you can have region so thanks to the regions we have up here uh, in here so we can do regions and then message.guild.regions uh not region sorry not regions and then next in line is the boost tier so we're checking the tier of our boost of the server to message uh dot guild dot premium premium tier and then we're going to use a ternary operator here so we're going to do tier uh what is it message dot guild dot premium tier and we're going to have obviously the fallback here and that fallback will be uh none i shouldn't have used an or operator there i should have used the colon so next in line what are we doing we're doing explicit filter right explicit filter next we will do the message dot guild uh, actually sorry because we've got an array up there we'll do filter levels and then we'll add the message dot guild dot explicit content filter i think that's the pro it's such a long property so and then next in line what we'll do is we'll just do a couple more down here explicit filter uh, we're going to do verification level and then obviously we can let's quickly just get rid of this we'll do verification levels and then message dot guild dot verification levels uh no it's not levels it's level and then finally the last bit for this field is time created and then this will obviously get us the information we need we're going to require the uh moments package so const moment equals require and then we're going to require moment uh, this is just a package that's going to help us um obviously format the time that we want to provide so time created now we're going to do moment and then inside that we're going to do message message dot guild dot created timestamp no that's not what i wanted created timestamp and then we're going to go outside of here we're going to do format i'm going to format it to lt and then we're going to go along one we're going to do moment yet again because we're going to use this for something else. We're going to do message.guild.created timestamp yet again. And then we're going to dot format to uh, LL. And then finally, but not least, moment message.guild.created timestamp. And we're going to do from now as a. And oh, actually, sorry, no, we've got a blank space that we're going to be adding. Um, so the blank space is just u 200 b i believe and then that is that whilst we're here what we'll do is we'll just add the auto fixes here and you'll see that obviously we haven't used these just yet but we're on to the next field right so add field we're going to add the next field we're going to do statistics right so statistics if i can spell and we're going to add an array in here and then obviously we can just uh we'll just copy a small one here we'll just copy this one and then in the top part we'll do roll count and we'll just quickly remove this and we will do rolls.length right and then what i'll do is i'll just copy this part here and then we can write this together and then next is the emoji count and over here what we'll do is we'll do emojis dot size next in line is your regular regular emoji count now these are just like the non-animated emojis and then in here we can have emojis dot filter and we'll do emoji and then if the emoji is not animated because there's no like static property right so we're going to check if it isn't animated and then we can copy this right here actually we'll add a semi uh not a semicolon a comma quickly and then we'll copy this because we're just going to change two things here we're going to change the name name is going to be animated emoji and then we're going to make sure it's an animated emoji right next in line what have we got so i'm going to quickly grab this guy next in line we've got the member count so the overall guild member count which is very easy to obtain message.guild.member count next in line so we're checking who is a human which is funny right so we're going to check who the humans are uh so we're going to obviously need a filter so message um no sorry it's, no no not message uh members because we've got this up here so members.filter and then we're going to uh pretty much member and we're going to filter out the people that aren't bots so luckily they give us a bot uh property to check against which will return a boolean boolean balloon so we're going to quickly grab this as well because we can use this for bots and then we can get rid of this so next we can do text channels and do text channels and 
on the other side of this, we can do channels.filter and then we will do channel.type equals and we're going to check the type to be uh, text and then we'll add the size property. We're going to do this at the next line as well, except we're going to check if it is a voice. And then finally, what we will do, oh, sorry, is we got to change this real super duper quick. We'll do voice. And then because this is the end, what we'll do is I need this super duper quick. We're going to do the boost count, right? And then we'll do message.guild.premium subscription, subscription count or zero it'll do just zero here now that is the final bit for this so do as quickly do all the auto fixable stuff we're going to do add field and then what we'll have is we're going to have this as presence and then we'll add obviously the array so we'll quickly grab one of these guys here so we're going to say online and then we're going to use the members and we can obviously filter these members so members dot member.presence uh, presence status equals and then online so that's the online we can do uh, we can do idle do not disturb and offline so we go through here real quick we'll do idle do not disturb derb, and then offline and we can do idle in here we do dn dnd in here and then once and finally least we can do the offline here and then oh what i did forget is obviously we're adding these guys in here so we'll quickly just add them and then finally we've got the roles so add field and then we'll do roles and then we can add the the length in here actually so roles dot length we're going to minus one because the everyone role counts in here so we'll just get rid of that and then we're going to add a comma and then we're going to do roles dot length roles dot length and then 10 roles dot join and we're going to join it with a comma here outside of this we're going to have a obviously a ternary operator so we're going to do roles dot length and we're going to check if the roles length is greater than 10 and if so we're going to do this dot client dot utils dot trim array so that function that we made and we're going to provide the roles and then we're going to do or and then finally none so at the end of this we can add ourselves uh the set uh timestamp that is a function and we add our semicolon and then finally we can add the message dot channel dot send and we'll send the embed so now that this is done what we're going to do is we're going to hit save we're going to head on over into Discord. I think we're going to save the user info command for tomorrow. So that means you'll get another upload, which is really cool. Uh, because I really don't want these videos to go uh, longer than they need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to do quickly do no dot. And I'll quickly play the Oxide Hosting advertisement. And I'll catch you guys in Discord. Oh, don't forget to install the package, Yarn Add Moment. As you can see, I forgot to install it. I was going to leave it to the end, but obviously I forgot. So we'll do no dot. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll quickly jump over into Discord and you'll see that I have the server info command already tested, but we'll do it once again. Voila, look at this. This is all the information. I should uh, probably add the size on the end of that. That's a mistake on my part. I do apologize. The size property. Whoop, whoop. And then obviously this is what happens when, oh, I should have probably hit save. This is what happens when um, you obviously are coding. Like sometimes you forget stuff. This, you know, everything's not clean cut, which is um, unfortunate, but it's it's what happens, you know? So now that we're logged back in, we'll quickly do the command yet again, and you'll see that they have changed to numbers. And obviously there's a few things that I've done a little bit wrong here. So there's missing uh, M parts. So we quickly make sure all of these have the necessary highlighting. Highlighting, 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 highlighting done, highlighting, highlighting done. And then we'll do it one last time and server info. And voila, this is the command. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 3K. It is uh, obviously something we've been aiming for. 
Uh, so hopefully get 5k by the end of the year, which is what our plans were. Uh, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. It will be up tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And then hopefully we'll get the bot showcase video started this week. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. This has been Connor here from Menudox, And I hope you have a wonderful day.